Today, we're going to talk about the market, the altcoins that have been doing well, a new idea that we have in my Discord that admins and MVPs will be able to participate in, and then some crypto news that has to do with the FUD that happened this weekend. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Crypto Picks. First, thanks to all my subscribers. All of you are amazing. Don't forget to come into my Discord, join us, become an MVP, get access to that gem pool and this new feature I will be talking about later. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's get started. So first, let's talk about the market cap. We're almost at 717 billion market cap. Bitcoin's almost at 14,000. Ethereum's climbing back up to 1,300. It's nice to see all this green in the market. We all hate red, especially with these new people. The less FUD we can have, the better. We want to keep them in this space, and green will do that. So let's check out the altcoins. First, we have Smart Cash. This one is up 138%. So it's reported that they just released their master node, and as a result, the price has really pumped. Almost 150%. That's awesome. I'm a little bit sour. I used to have enough coins for a master node. I sold way too early, but you can't win them all. Next, we have Neblio. This one jumped up to $60, crashed back down to about 28 or less after all that FUD happened. And we're looking at about $36. It's climbing back up there. Awesome to see. Another one that's doing great. Actually, let me do it this way. Janice, this one has no volume. Don't even, don't even look at that one. We have RLC. This one's had a huge pump. They just got listed on Binance. This makes me wonder what will happen to Dragon Chain once it's added to Binance. I am over here waiting patiently along with all of you. Can't wait till that day. Okay, that's enough of altcoins. Let's move on to my Discord. So here's my Discord. The link is in the description below. Come join us. Become an MVP, which is right here. Just be active and helpful for the community and one of my admins or myself will promote you and you get access to the gem pool, which gives you access to the spreadsheet, which the new feature we're going to be adding is ICO. So I think 2018 is going to be big for finding gems and then great ICOs. This is where you can make great return on investments and will be huge this year. So the thing with ICOs, they're saturating the market so hard right now. I mean, right here, 2017 alone, there were 1,848 ICOs in 2017. As you can see, on November 2nd, ICO Alert posted there was a new record of 51 ICOs launched on November 1st alone. ICOs are saturating this market like crazy, so we need to find the best ones. So the new feature we're going to be doing, we're going to be following ICOs in the group, charting them as much as possible and trying to find those great ICOs I'm wanting the group to work together to find different resources, different articles, different ratings, different reviews, and put them all together on one spreadsheet so that we know which ones are the best, which ones are the most hype, which one have a prototype, a team, blocking US investors, require a KYC, all that information so we have it in one place. So we have it all in one place. We can invest wisely and really maximize our investments. Also, if you haven't yet, follow me on Twitter, CryptoPix. Right there. Here's the link. I will put it in the description below. Come and follow me. I only have 65 followers on Twitter. It's kind of sad. Come on, guys. So the news for today, Korea's crypto crackdown talk draws backlash from users and politicians. So earlier this week, we talked about South Korea announcing that it is preparing legislation to close the country's online exchanges. And this came after tax authorities were investigating at least some of the exchanges in Korea. Well, more than 100,000 South Korean residents have signed petitions asking the government there to step back any plans to close the country's cryptocurrency exchanges. One petition had more than 30,000 signatures asking for the Minister of Justice to step down in light of the move. Another petition had more than 100,000 signatures and the website itself became inaccessible at one point due to excessive traffic. Also, we have members of the Korean political scene reporting cry. Supposedly, leaders from several op opposition parties are moving to criticize what they deem a unilateral crackdown without any discussion or debate. 
One lawmaker stated the ban wasn't a government position, but rather one that the Ministry of Justice and possibly the president hold themselves. The article quoted him saying, the government announcement should be based on detailed reviews and coordination. If there's any problems, we should warn and prepare in advance. So there you have it. It seems that the South Korean FUD was a bit premature and hopefully it will subside soon, letting the market go right back up to what it was doing. Look at this as like a sell week or just reposition or, or hold whatever you think is best for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Check out my Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you next time.